people. Since the time he came here at like 11 or 12 years old, and just seeing him put the work in with his father each and every day, and the focus that he has for a 17-year-old is unmatched by any 17-year-old I've ever seen. So it's been absolutely incredible experience watching him grow. Now, back to Steiny and Guru on 95.7 The Game. All right, let's welcome him in on the River Islands guest line. He was the 2024 NHL Draft's number one overall Matt. selection by the San Jose Sharks. And uh, that was Draymond Green, uh, Golden State Warrior, talking about seeing you play. Uh, did you did you have a chance to talk to Draymond and get to know him a little bit over the years? <laughs> Yeah, for sure. Um, being around the Warriors the last couple of years, uh, I've definitely been able to make that relationship, and um, it's definitely been a cool one and, and not a usual one. Yeah, let me ask you this, and we're joined by Macklin Celebrini. He's the uh, number one pick in the NHL draft. Um, how, how have the last how's the last month or two been for you? Has it been a, a world a whirlwind, or or are you trying to keep it? Um, you know the way the way it has been and keep to your routine yeah i mean a little bit of both for sure um some things i couldn't control where it, it has been busy and had been traveling all over the place but um i mean as much as possible i've tried to stick to my routine and kind of not not to get, get away from it too much Macklin, I got to ask you this. You being the number one pick, at, at what age did you say, you know what, I'm pretty good at this sport. I might have action to be a pro and, and a number one pick. Uh, I don't I don't really know. Like, it's I've never really thought about it like that. Um, I mean, I think, I think I've just been trying to get better every day and um, just focusing on what I love to do. And, I mean, maybe the realization came – a year or two ago, but um, and I never really thought about it like that. Uh, all guests on the 95.7 The Game appear courtesy of the River Islands. Guest line, isn't it time for you to discover the islands, River Islands in Lathrop? Uh, you know, we were having a conversation a couple months ago about faces of the franchise, and we we're talking about Steph Curry and, and guys like Joe Montana and Brock Purdy, and after the Sharks got the number one pick, I, I said, well, this guy, Macklin Celebrini, that I know nothing about, looks like he has a chance to kind of take San Jose and the the Bay by by storm. I mean, do you do you feel any pressure uh, that comes along with the number one pick? Um, I try, again, I try not to think about it like that. Um, I mean, if you go down that rabbit hole, it don't it, it never it never leads to a good place. But um, no, I mean, obviously, there's some responsibility um, coming with that, but. I mean, I'm just going to try to do the best I can do to just help the team win. Macklin, I got to ask you this. I was watching the Stanley Cup final, and I'm like, you know what? Hockey players don't get enough credit um, from the non-diehards about how physical the sport is. How are you in regard to that? Is Where are you at physically? Is that something you think about, or you're like, nah, I got it, guys. I'm going to be fine. Um, Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's, you're you're going to that next level playing against grown men and guys who've been in the league for the last 10 to 15 years. So, um, I mean, it's something that I'm working on, just getting bigger, stronger, faster, but um, also some of that will come over time. So I'm not too worried about it. There you go. Macklin Celebrini joining us on 95-7 The Game. He was the number one overall selection by the San Jose Sharks. And if you don't know, uh, Macklin's father, Rick Celebrini, he's worked with the Warriors since 2018. Um, the, our, a lot of our listeners may not know that uh, you were the number one pick, but you you still may go back to Boston University for your sophomore season. I know you haven't made that decision yet, I'm not asking you to tell us what that decision is, but what is going to go in to your thought process of whether you're going to go back to Boston University or or play for the Sharks? Yeah, I think it's just talking to uh, my family and my advisors and um, the Sharks organization, just seeing what, what everyone's thoughts are um, on my readiness and um, the impact that, that I'll have at the next level. And, um, whether that'll be great or next year if I have another year to develop. And I feel like I just, it's, it's tough to make a decision right now, but, um, it, it will come soon. When, uh, do you, have, do you have a deadline on that? I mean, we're learning a lot about you and, and your situation. I mean, is there a deadline that you have? 
Um, I mean, I don't know if there's an actual deadline that I, I have to make a decision by, but um, I mean, if there is or isn't, uh, the decision will come well before that. Gotcha. Macklin, you, a lot of people out here are excited about you. For new hockey fans, could you tell them or describe what type, what's your game like? What type of game is Macklin Celebrini bring to the ice? Um, I mean, I'm, I, uh, play on both sides of the, of the puck. Um, I'm very offensive and I like scoring goals and, and creating, but, um, I also enjoy, uh, playing defense and, uh, keeping the puck out of my own net. So, um, I, I try, I try to be as complete as possible. Yeah. Macklin Celebrini joining us on 95 seven, the game, the number one overall selection by the San Jose Sharks. Uh, are you a Warrior fan? Uh, I am. I'm a huge Warrior fan. Okay. Um, okay. Well, let me ask go. you this because uh, we don't know anything about you. You know, the Warriors had a had a big three: Steph Curry, Draymond Green, and Clay Thompson, and their personalities are all different. Uh, which one is your personality most like of those three? Oh, that's a good question. I don't know. Um... How about maybe, on the ice? Maybe, on the ice. Yeah, on the ice, maybe more like Draymond, honestly. <laughs> maybe just like with, the, with the compete and the, um, the fire. I think uh, I think I might be more like him. Are you so you're animated out there? I mean, are you you're an emotional type of player? You wear your feelings on your sleeve. I don't think as as much as Draymond. <laughs> obviously, he's very competitive and and he cares so much, but. Um, I mean, I feel like I'm I'm a lot like him. Macklin, speaking of Draymond and Steph Curry, do you have a relationship with those guys? Yeah, I mean, like I said, um, being around the uh, the team for the last couple of years, I've I've been able to make those relationships a little bit. But um, obviously, they uh, they live in a different world, so um, it's tough to kind of build that. I like this kid. <laughs> yeah. Get to yeah, that's uh, I'll, I'll introduce you to Daryl the Guru Johnson. He's a piece of work, Macklin. Trust me. Um, <laughs> your, your dad, uh, your dad played professional soccer, um, so you you come from a family of of athletes. Uh, when he moved here in in 2018, did you come down with him? Have you been uh, in the Bay for the last six or seven years, or have you been um, you know in Vancouver with with that team? Yeah, the first year um, that he started working with the team, we stayed in Vancouver. Me, my siblings and my mom, um, it was just too much of a quick transition to, to make the move. But then after that, we, we came down here for a year. And then ever since then, me and my older brother have kind of been all over the country in Minnesota, Chicago, and Boston. So, um, I mean, we, we really enjoyed our, our year here, though. Macklin, my partner and I are so excited. We've been excited knowing we're going to have you on. Do you mind if I ask you a quick favor? It won't take long. Yeah, for sure. So can you? We can even count to three. But we have these rejoiners. If you could just say, "This is Macklin Celebrini." You're listening to Steiny and Guru. We would love it. All right, sounds good. Uh, this is Macklin Celebrini, and you're listening to Steiny and Guru. Yeah, baby, oh, we man. got him. Macklin, he's been talking about that for four days <laughs> yeah. when, since we, when, we, uh, when we knew we were going to have you on. Um, how does it, uh, I mean, it, I just, just thinking about you being just 18 years old, I mean, and I know Guru kind of asked you this early, but when did you, when did you realize that y- you might be able to play at this level? Um, yeah, it's, I, I mean, playing in the NHL is obviously, obviously always been my dream. Like I've grown up watching it on TV every night. So, um, it's been more of a dream than reality, but, um, I mean, recently it's definitely become more and more a realization that maybe it can, it can be a reality one day. Did you, did you pattern your game after, uh, after anybody? Um, yeah, I mean, I watched guys like Sidney Crosby, um, Jonathan Taze, Brain Point, those um, superstars in the league. Obviously, they're they've been in the league for so long, and I mean, they've won cups and done everything you can do in in the game. But um, those are the guys that I, I've tried to look at and, and learn how to. All right, well, listen, young man. Uh, best of luck to you. I think uh, this is going to be really cool. 
And regardless of, of whether you go back to BU this year or you play for the Sharks, we wish you nothing but the best. And Thanks. We're, we're kind of like the uh, unofficial <laughs> Macklin Celebrini fan club yeah, here at uh, Steiny yeah. and Google. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Well, thank you guys for having me on. I appreciate it. Hey, hey, before you go, with a name like Macklin, do you have a nickname? Because I'm like, there's a lot of, uh, that comes to mind. Do they call you Mac? What Do they call you anything on ice? Yeah, I mean, Mac and Sally have kind of Sally. been my nicknames growing up. Okay. So, yeah, <laughs> well, those two. Well, I've been telling Guru, like, your name in and of itself <laughs> is pretty sweet. Yeah. So if uh, <laughs> uh, Macklin Celebrini, listen, thank you so much for joining us. Best of luck Take to it you. In.